so you can always talk to me. Yeah. Um, so, what is your main job as a winger? Um, running. <laughs> um, uh, positionally, obviously, uh, attacking. Being everywhere, you know, obviously um, the modern game winger obviously appears in places he shouldn't appear. You know, obviously finishing tries, chasing high balls, chasing kicks, um, sort of last line of defence sometimes as well, and just being everywhere really. Okay. How much communication is between you, between yourself, the opposite winger, and the fullback? Uh, there's always something going on. Do you know what I mean, for our point of view, there's always positions where you have to change. You know. Um, if I'm caught out in the, um, in a tackle, so I have to kick my place and, have, but, and get back into the fullback position, um, it's that communication that's always going on. You know, um, from my point of view, I like a noisy house just because I know what's going on there and I know where everyone is. You know, the more the more chat is coming in, the easier it is to do my job. Then. Okay. How much of playing wing is pace versus strength? Obviously, you can't have one without the other. Um, yeah, I guess it's six to nine out of others, isn't it? Really. Um, obviously, you need to, you need your own out pace. Obviously, when you get the chance to run it. But at the same time, the number one games change. You know, you need to pop up in, inside, you know, and offer a bit more power running. We need to bang it up a bit. Awesome. Uh, moving on from that, how is, what's your training regime like then at the moment for for a winger? Uh, at the moment, because obviously in the European stage that we just come out of, it's been quite a bit of a low light, uh, a lighter weight, uh, a lighter sort of week. It's been more sort of based towards power, you know, and being fresher for the games, obviously, because they're step up again. So it's just been a case of, you know, lowering the volume a little bit, changing the weight schedule to a bit more power based, and then just uh, turn the volume down. Awesome. Opposite that, what's your diet like then? So how many meals and how many calories do you have a day? Uh, I want no calories off the top of my head. You know, you're talking on the three or four, four, four main meal, four big meals and a couple of snacks, maybe. Okay. Do you have any a program that's designed at injury prevention, sort of around the main areas? Yeah, um, especially here in Northampton, where we, we've got a great program, you know, around individual development. So, um, you know, a lot of boys, you know, have you know sore shoulders after games, sore knees. So obviously, we do a lot of prehab and activation around the knees and the shoulders, keep them safe, really. Awesome. How important is a warm up to a player? Massive. I mean, if you don't warm up, you're not ready to go. You, you know, you got a ma massive chance to pull a muscle or even do an injury. Yeah, uh, last couple of questions then. Um, who do you think is the best winger in the world and why? And you can say yourself if you think. Uh, no, um, I've had I've been quite lucky to play against a few of the, some, some of the best wingers in the world. You know, obviously I I got a lot of respect for Brian O'Banner. You know, um, someone as you said, has got pace and power, and he's someone who's just performed. You know, every international, every game, he seems to be on his best, which yeah. is um, great to see. Okay, last question. Uh, what was it like playing for the Lions, um, especially the moment where you picked up Israel Falau? Uh, was that a simple case of if I can't run through, you'll run with you? No, that was a case of um, he won't let go of me, so I picked him up and took him with me. So um, it was one of those things, one of those freak accidents, I probably won't happen again, but at the time it just seemed the best thing to do. Brilliant. Beautiful.